Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great privilege of coming into the presence of God. Yes, Lord. You have multiplied the congregations. Now we have congregations in different homes. Hallelujah. But you are with us wherever we are because you are omnipresent. Amen. Hallelujah. Touch us even and teach us the word of God. We give you the glory, all the praises, all the honor for the great things that we will learn from you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 If you would like to give a, a title to this message, I borrowed it from uh, the sayings of Pastor Faith. Always he says, uh, usually in a, in a holy indignation when she's talking to us, she says, you are settled for so little. Don't settle for so little because God has got a lot for us. And indeed, sometimes we settle for so little, especially when the enemy buffets us, we, we really get down completely. And it, it really gives uh, the, the ministries the, a lot of work to try to lift us up. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we are children of God. Hallelujah, we are children of God. So let us get up on our feet always and be strong. Thank God. Amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, if you will turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. <clears throat> we'll use it as the base of our of the word today. We'll be coming back to it day by bit. Hallelujah. In verse 9, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, the word of God says, But as it is written, eyes, eyes, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have it entered into the heart of, of man, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Hallelujah. We cannot imagine what God has prepared for us. We just talk about being raptured, but we don't know what God has prepared for us. Amen. Here the, you find the, Paul the Apostle is, 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 is quoting from Isaiah 64. 4. This is that we do not we do not know, but it is awesome. But God has revealed them to unto us by his spirit. For the spirit such as all things, yeah, the deep things of God. Verse 11. For what man, what man knoweth, knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. That's why we hand it over to the Holy Spirit. Lord. Because he knows it. Yeah. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given unto us. God has given us so many free things, so many things as his children, freely. But we cannot, we cannot figure out the things that he has given unto us. Sometimes we even doubt, we, ha we, we, we see what God has given us and we cannot go for it. We even doubt because those things have to be revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says, which things we, uh, uh, with things also we speak, not in the words of man's wisdom, we, 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 man's wisdom teaches, but with the whole, which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. You see, we I don't have to listen to the Holy Spirit. Seven days ago, we were celebrating the coming down of the Holy Spirit, the annual anniversary. He is the one who will reveal these things to us. We have to receive as he teaches, not as people teach. Because, for instance, if you go to the street and you say, you say something which is spiritual, you will hear that the person who does not know God will, see, will find a, give you a different answer. But we, we know that the spiritual things have to be compared with the spiritual things. So when you talk to a Christian, it is easy. And it is friendly. But when you talk with you try to explain things to somebody who is not a Christian, you will feel this hostility that they're really resisting. Why? Because they cannot compare spiritual things, world things with the spiritual things. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So in verse 14 it says, But the natural man receives not 
the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually descent. We, was, we are going to look into certain things here that belongs to us, that God has given us, which you only will receive because your faith, you have the Holy Spirit in you. Natural man will not receive it. If you go, don't go and share it with somebody in the street because it is foolishness unto them. Yes. They will say, what are you talking about? That is garbage. But this is what the word of God is telling us and it is the truth and the truth sets us free so we have to receive that. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, he, the, the, at this moment when we are going through this, uh, this pandemic and uh, shock and uh, people are frustrated and down, it is, it is really, the, it brings into our minds to think about the last days. Mm -hmm. we, we, we think about the last days and we say, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? But the, the Holy Spirit tells us in the Word of God that things in the economy of God travel in circles. They return to the point of origin. When the things which come from God come to earth here, they will have to go back to God. They go in circles. So such that we will see now where we, we fall in this one, in this, in this, in this uh, economy of God. In the John chapter 16, verse 28 to 30, the word of God says, It is Jesus, he was talking to his disciples, he's telling them in verse 28, he says, I came forth from the Father, and I am come to the world, and I leave the world, and I go to the Father. And his disciples said unto, unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee. By, by this we believe that you camest, becomest forth from the Father. You know, this, the, the, the disciples always, whenever Jesus would teach, they would keep the things, uh, the, the things they don't understand. And when Jesus would, the, the, uh, Jesus would send the, the people away to, the, to their homes, they would run to Jesus. What were you talking about? What were you talking about? But this time Jesus is telling them that I came from the Father. I come to the world. Now I'm going to leave the world. I'm going to go back to the Father. All the children who are born through by me and know that. <laughs> They say, oh, it is very easy. You don't have to explain that today for, to us. We already know it. Now we know that you are from the Father. Yeah. Because things in the economy of God come, they are told, come from God, come to down here. And after down here, they have to go back. Anybody who goes to, goes to heaven will have to come back. That is exactly, in Isaiah 55, it tells us in, the, in verse 10 and verse 8 to 11, it tells us that, God, the word of God says that God would send snow and water, rain from heaven to pour on the ground and moist the ground. And when the ground is moist, has provided food for us and all the rest of it, then they, they will what? It's evaporate and go back to heaven. They go in circles. circles yes. We have to get that in our mind because that will help us really in our relationship with God because it is a relationship Hallelujah. that we are going Amen. to have with God. You know, when in Genesis chapter 1, when God called things, the Bible says that God called the, 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 he called the plants uh, from, from, the, from the earth, the earth to bring forth the plants. You see, the, and seeds, and these plants had seeds and all the rest of it. The, 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 the cycle was that the plant would grow, uh, mature, break down, go back to the soil when it, where it came from, and then the, the seed will die, go to the, uh, to the ground, as it says in John uh, 12, 24. The seed, if it doesn't fall on the soil, it will abide alone. But when it falls into the soil, it grows and comes back. That is a circle. Yeah. That is a circle. Hallelujah. Things in the economy of God go in what? In such a form. Yes. So if the seed does not fall to the ground, 
it abides alone. I remember when my grandfather's place in Africa, they, when they used to get the best seed and they would make sure it's not, doesn't get, they don't get wet, they hang them in the house because these people are farmers. But the day they put it on the ground, it will germinate. <laughs> Why? Because the seed will die yes. and a, a, a new seedling will grow down sure. there. So the, we have to know this. You know, for example, the most important thing, for example, the, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, God says that let us make man in our image. Where is the source? The source is God, Trinity. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us make in our image. Say that when the, 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 the Bible tells us in the, that in, the, in, the, in the chapter 2, verse 7, that uh, God picked this, the, the dust from the soil, modeled it, and breathed into it, and it became a living soul. Yes. Now, Paul writes and says, to be absent of the body is to be what? With the God. So the breath of God has to go back to God. But God gives us the privilege of choosing whether to go back to him or to go to hell. So we, we, may, we have to make that decision. Yes. Do we do? When I leave this body, do I, have to go to, do I want to go to heaven or do I want to go mm -hmm. to, to join the, the people I'm not supposed to join? Yes. Because hell was not created for man. Come on. Mm -hmm. So and because it's the breath of God, he has to go back to God. That's and right. The, the, the body was picked from the soil. When God yeah. pressed on it, it became a living, a living, a living soul. Is that it? Yeah. And it had the flesh. Mm -hmm. So when the body dies, what happens? We bury it to the ground because it was picked from the ground. You will only hear the ministers when they are laying down, say, a person, they say, dust, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why? They are, they are returning it to the soil. Things in the economy of God goes in circles. So once we know that, then we it is able, we are able to receive, Amen. to receive yeah. from God. Hallelujah. It is, it's, it's, we are able to receive from God. And I want to also to, Hallelujah. in the scriptures, I wanted to also to show you where we come from because. Sometimes we think that, uh, we, we hear some parents say that, I brought you into this world, I can take you out of this world. That is wrong. We are the, we were there before, before. If, if you go with me to the uh, Proverbs chapter 8, Proverbs chapter 8, we we'll read uh, only three, three uh, verses down there. In verse 22, the word of, the word of God says, uh, talks. The, the one I believe is, is talking here is our Lord Jesus Christ. But he said that the Lord possessed me in the beginning of the way, of his way, before the works of old. So when we go to verse 30, is where we are heading to, verse 30. It says, Then I was by him as brought up with him. And I was daily, daily the, the delight. I was daily in his delight, rejoicing in the ways before him. This is Jesus. God was making plans. The Bible tells us that God, in the beginning, was made a plan, and He finished. When He made the plan, He finished. Amen. Then the creation started afterwards. So what happens? I believe that when God was making plans, being the Trinity being together, God works together with the Holy Spirit. And Jesus was down there at the side. Jesus was said that I was like a son, like somebody who has been brought up right. with him. Yes. And in verse 30, 31, it says, Rejoicing in the habitable parts of his earth, and my delight was with sons of God. What does that mean? It's saying here that God has got his earth where he was seated, where he was planning everything, before the foundation of the world, before he created anything. Hmm. In the habitable part of this earth, it was, that's where God is. That's what God was says. And the delight of Jesus Christ was the what? Sons of men. Which means we were there. Yeah. We were in that plan, mm -hmm. blueprint that God was preparing. God even looked at it and looked into the future like this and said, oh, my son Adam has fallen. 
My son Adam has fallen. So you see, we were there before the foundation of the world. So when the angels complain in the, uh, in the Psalm 8, say that, oh, oh, what is man that you read a mouthful about him? You made him a little lower than Elohim himself, and you put all the, your works under at his feet. It's because we were there before. Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's because we were there before. The Proverbs tells us, we are from God and we are going back to God. Come on. If we were in the, that plan in God's earth before nothing was created, on, in God's earth, or the place where they call it, because we don't have the words for it, we call it God's earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where God is, is, was living in eternity. It means we were there. You see, in, in, in Ephesians chapter 1, it tells, it, it tells us, chapter 1, verse 4 to, to verse 5, what did it say? It says that God chose us, what? He chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world. To be what? To be holy and what? Hallelujah. 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 Corinthians. In Ephesians, not, uh, not Corinthians, in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4, 4 to 5, it says, According to us, he has chosen us before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us unto adoption of, uh, as, uh, of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So we were there before the foundation of the world. He chose us in Christ. So during that planning time is when God chose us before the foundation of the world. Another, another scripture to, to support that we don't have time to go through is Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 which says that the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. Yes. Why was the lamb slain? Because God in his planning, he saw Adam fall and he made sure that he, that sacrifice was made before the foundation of the world. Praise that Amen. proves that we were with God before and our destiny is to go to back to Praise God. That. If you choose to go to, uh, to hell, it's because you are going to a wrong place. If they mistreat you there, it's because you, are not, you don't belong there. Hell was created for Satan and his mm -hmm. angels. But you and I, we are supposed to go back to the Father. Yes. Yes. Lord Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Yes. That's where we are supposed to go. Mm -hmm. yes. right. We went with God before the foundation of the world and he chose us in Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, if things go in circles, mm -hmm. things in the economy of God, which means we are from God, we came down here, and when we live, we live here, we, are, we should prepare ourselves to go back to God where we came from. Mm -hmm. Because we are made with a will in us, we some, sometimes we use our will to override the desires of God, and God allows it. So when we override the desire of God, and we decide that, oh, I think I better go and there will be more fun in the, in the, with, the, with the Satan. Then you go there. Mm -hmm. You go there. Mm -hmm. But you are not supposed to be going there. That is the, 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 that's the gospel that we have, been, we have been given. Hallelujah. 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 So we were chosen in Christ to be the bride for the Son and to share in the governing, ruling, judging, and administration of God's heritage. That is what we were chosen for. So sometimes we think we, we, are, we, we backslide because we do not know how powerful the things that we are chosen to, to come and do Amen. are. Mm -hmm. That's why Paul reminds us, say, your eyes are, eyes are not seen. Mm -hmm. Ears are not heard. No can your please, mini, uh, uh, mind comprehend yes. what God has planned for you. Praise the Lord. Has planned for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in the book of Romans chapter 4, verse 13. <clears throat> how do we, how do we, because the, the, we just read about that in the inheritance, the, her, the inheritance of God, we, are, we were being prepared for that. How do we get it? 
in, in chapter, chapter 4 of uh, Romans, verse 13, the Bible God says, For the promise that he should be the heir of the world, that is the Abraham, Abraham is the heir of the world, mm -hmm. but the word that is being used here is not in, is not, does not give you a, a real picture. This is cosmos. They use cosmos, which means the heir of the universe. Abraham is, the, is supposed to be the heir of the universe. Not the world only. Was not. Okay, let me begin. From from the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham and to his seed, though though, though not through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. You see, when he was chosen to be the heir of the world, it's not. It was not. It was not to earn it through the law. Because that is a heritage. When you inherit something, you don't work for it. You are giving it, given to it free. Mm -hmm. That is what we should know. Whatever God, Jesus has done for us on the cross, we are supposed to give it, receive it free. Praise That's what we read in the first Corinthians, telling that the things, the Holy Spirit can show us the things that God has given us to receive. Wow, freely. Amen. Freely. So here, he is supposed to receive these things, this inheritance by faith. Verse 14 says, For if they which are of the, of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made none of none effect. You see, so if, if we, we, we were made to be heirs with Abraham, I to work for it. If we were to, 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 uh, to get it through the law, then it would make faith void. And then it is no longer the promise. Because Abraham was given a promise. So we, the only thing Abraham was supposed to do is to receive the promise. Amen. God has given us promises which are so many, but we have not received those promises. We need to receive them. We need to receive those promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So it is very, very important for us to, to, to know that anything in inheritance or whatever was coming towards us, we receive that by what? Amen. By faith. We receive it by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just um, find a scripture here which confirms that. Okay. In the Galatians chapter 3. Is telling us, is telling us here. Because they, talk, they say Abraham and his seed were not supposed to receive this inheritance from God by law or by works. They are supposed to be received by faith. Who are the seed of Abraham? Listen, verse 29 of Galatians chapter 3 says, And if he be Christ, then he are Abraham's seed yeah. and the heirs according to the promise. We are the ones who are the heirs. We are the heirs with Abraham according to the promise. Yes. It is very clear here. So that is what we have. Heirs according to the promise. Amen. But the question is, how are we, are we receiving the, 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 the what? The, heritage, the, the, the inheritance that we are, we are supposed to share? Hallelujah. Are we receiving it? Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 8, verse 29 to 30, we have to support ourselves in this, um, in this, in this scripture so that you don't say, yeah, okay, Brother Paul, where do you find that? Okay, in a Romans chapter 8. Hallelujah. Verse 29 to 30, the word of God says, For whom he did for no, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, and uh, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestine, then he also called. And whom he called, then he also justified. And whom he justified, he also what? Glorified glorified so this is what god 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 inheritance on his production on on on, on, on his creation he took part of the world for himself yes 
inherit it took it took his own in his, in inheritance and what he, he, he does with that it is it, he will do it according to his own will because he's a sovereign god so what 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 the word of god is telling us that god the knew us and he predestined us before what before the foundation of the world and he called us and he justified us what are we waiting for to be we are waiting to be glorified so this inheritance is an ongoing thing it is not complete yet it is, it is not complete. It is an ongoing thing. Which, that's why I say that we have to look around ourselves and say, what am I inheriting? What am I, what am I, what am I supposed to receive? Why did Jesus die for, for, uh, and, and live for us at Calvary? You have to look out, look out for that. If it is healing, you receive you are healing. If that is your heritage, if, if it is miracles, you, 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 can't, you can live the life of receiving miracles. All this, whatever heritage that has been left for us, you receive all that. I remember when, I, when, when we were small, we, and we would go to our grandfather's place, he was a chief. When we were at the chief's house, we would get everything, they would give us sour milk free, everything, they would just, everything is free. Why? That was the heritage of that place. We were here, down there, we would consume everything, they would even bring crops, farmers would bring crops. And, and uh, for feeding the, the, the people in the chief's house. You see, we were supposed to do that. And we are in the house of God, we are the children of God, we are supposed to receive everything that is there for us. Yeah. But are we receiving it? That's the question. We have to, 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 uh, to receive that. The Bible teaches that God, God had, he, had, he, he has his own children. The first is what? He begat, he began to say that the only begotten son of, G, of God is Jesus. Mm -hmm. that, that one, let me just be, be, be careful with that. Why? Because there are people who are pseudo-Christians, who think they are also Christians. They say God created Jesus. That's wrong. That's crazy. Because Jesus is part of Trinity. Trinity is one. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are one. The three are one. Yes. So there is no way God created Jesus. Jesus is part of the Trinity. Yes. But the thing is, the problem is our language. Yes. I remember when this morning Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Paul touched, touched on that. The language, the problem is the language. The only way we can explain the relationship between the first person and the second person of Trinity is to see them as son and father. That's right. Praise God. Why? Because we don't have a perfect language. The perfect language was taken away from in the Tower of Babel and all the languages were mixed and people got scattered. But in the book of Sapphania, chapter 3, verse 9, tells us that God will bring back that language to us so that we can serve him properly. Yeah. But right now, the language that is most used in the, in the world is English. Is that it? Yeah. But you, you go to the library and get an Oxford English dictionary and open it. You will find that every word is down there. It is the word, it's the pronunciation, and the root. You will find that a half of the words in the English I, I, from different languages, the German, Russian, Swahili, Zulu, Sosa, or, or Spanish, what all, all, and they make and they make English language. So this, uh, these languages cannot explain properly, <laughs> cannot explain properly. So God allows us to know that the Son of God. The only way we can know the relationship between the first. The first person of Trinity and the second person, second, uh, second person in Trinity, in their relationship, we see them as a relationship as a father and son. Yes. And it works perfect. And when you see the, the, the relationship between God the Father and Israel, it is it, the best relationship, the way, best way we can explain so that we can comprehend in our brain is the relationship between husband and wife. And the relation, if you want to see the, the best way to describe the relationship with, between our Lord Jesus Christ and the church is, between, is the relation between bridegroom and the bride. Yeah. Yeah. That is, because we don't have enough language to, 
to, to, to see these things clearly. So we just have to, God allows us to use that. Mm -hmm. Th that doesn't mean that uh, uh, Jesus was created. So God, uh, the Bible teaches that God begat, begat his son. Begat means it's, it's monogenes, monogenes in, in, in Greek. Monogenes means one of its kind created, that is there for a specific, a specific what? A specific relationship. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is there specifically. We, we, we will know him as a son of God. He's in his class so that he can die for us mm -hmm. on the cross. And we die, he's buried with us. We raise, we are risen with him, and we we sit with him in the heavenly places. You, so we Hallelujah. think we call him Son of God, but yeah. he's, he's God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We like the Holy Spirit, we call the Spirit of God, but he's God. Yes. Yes. Amen. See, Amen. so we we have to use that in order to, to to understand. But we find that some signs were created, like angels. God created them one by one. How many angels are there? The Bible says there are myriads. Myriads means uncountable. Mm -hmm. It's not billions. We can count billions, trillions, quazillions, and all that. We can count all that. But when it reaches myriads, cannot be counted. But God created them one by one. And in the book of Job, chapter 1 and chapter 2, you will hear that the, the, uh, the, uh, Satan, who was a cherub, going is also son of God. So these are sons of God. Also, son, son, the, the other, other children of God, God made them. Made them. Because in, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, says that, let us make man in our image. Yeah. So we were made. Amen. <laughs> and then the other sons were adopted. God adopted them. He adopted the rest of, the, of, his, of his children. So when we look at that, when we look at that, we can understand exactly the relationship. We have to clear this relationship that is within God, between God and us. Because we are not God. We, were, we, we cannot claim to be the, 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 what, the level of God. And sometimes we do not get uh, our in, uh, to see our inheritance or to receive the things that God has given us freely. Why? Because our God is small. We, we may think our God is the same size of, of Satan. Satan is a creature really? which is just going to be used by God in the end times. Yes, Otherwise, he would be in the lake of fire. But because God wants to use him in the end times, he is being right. kept down there. You can't compare him with God. God is a creator. Yes. Satan is a creature. Yes. So we, we have to know that difference. So you cannot say that Satan has got any power over God. He only does the things that God allows him. Yes. Yes, yes. He can't, he's, he's not, it's he's, he's, he's nobody, it's mm -hmm. nobody. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, <laughs> when we look at this, mm -hmm. that God calls us to have an inheritance, in inheritance, in inheritance, all children of God are sons. Now, you remember what I read at the beginning? I say that the things that we, we compare and the things that we see, as Paul writes in the First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 and 16, that it may appear to other people as foolishness. They won't understand. According to the inheritance, there in, in, in biblical inheritance, God kind of inherits a divine inheritance. There are only two people who inherit. Who, 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 who are, uh, what are put form forward for that inheritance? Sons and who? Illegitimate sons. Illegitimate sons don't inherit. Only legitimate sons inherit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That brings trouble. Do you know why? The world wants us to think in the way they think. So when we say sons, Sons are the other ones who inherit. They go and scream, said, Whoa, this discrimination, they're keeping the, 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 the women and all the rest of it. No, no, no. Any believer what is, is a, who inherits is a son. God is not talking about gender here. 
Yeah. The world talks about gender. God is not talking about gender yet. God is talking about legitimate sons and illegitimate sons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only sons inherit. Mm -hmm. Now, there are certain parts, examples in the Bible when I just, I'll just mention them to you. Uh, you can check on them later on. They, they were, were in, uh, people who were disqualified from being in, in heirs. It, like from Ishmael, the, in Genesis chapter 21, verse 9 to 14, you'll find that Ishmael was because he was a son of a slave, of a poor woman. He could not inherit. So one day, Sarah saw Ishmael mis mistreating uh, the word Isaac when Isaac was just he was being weaned. And this uh, Ishmael was already uh, over 13 years old. Yeah, he was now considered an adult. So what happened? Sarah told the Abraham, send the bond woman. Bond means, a bond woman means slave. A slave woman with his, with his, with his son. You will not inherit with my son here. <clears throat> Abraham was worked out. Sometimes women know where to press just to drive us nuts. So Abraham once walked out. Abraham ran to the mountains down there to talk to God. And when God said, hey, Abraham, go back and listen to what Sarah, <laughs> Sarah has told you. Right. Because this child will not inherit. It is, it is Isaac. This child, I've also blessed this child, will also receive inheritance. But it is Isaac who is, who is going to be is the child of promise. Mm -hmm. Go back and do that. And Abraham came down there, but Abraham was so obedient. He came from down there in the morning, he got bread and water, and he gave a Hagar and he sent Hagar and his mother away. Mm -hmm. That used to drive me nuts. That used to drive me crazy. I said, how could he do that? Abraham, Abraham he, he was a very wealthy man. He had a lot of silver, a lot of gold, a lot of all these things. He may have given back he could do his smile later, but he had to send that his smile away from Isaac. Amen. What did he do? Bread and water is the representation of what? Of the ration food for a slave. He was just making a point. You are a slave. <laughs> you, you, are, you are a slave. Exactly, that's what he was doing. You, you see, um, in uh, uh, our, our brothers and sisters who were uh, uh, born in uh, what uh, black uh, brothers and sisters who were born in the, in the Americas, they know about slavery. A slave master would buy slaves, both girls and uh, boys, and all the rest of it, and he may go into the girls and bring sire children. But when he gets broke, he would sell the, 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 the slave woman with, the, with their child. Mm -hmm. Yet he would not sell his wife and a, a child. Why? Because he's married to her. But he's not married to the slave, so he will sell the slave. Child of a slave is a slave. Yeah. Yeah. People knowing that history. So exactly that's what Abraham did. <clears throat> he sent away Ismael. Also you will find that <clears throat> Esau, Esau in the Bible tells us in Genesis 25, 38 to 34, about Esau selling his birthright. He, used, he was a hunter. One day when he came, he was so very hung, uh, hungry, hungered, and tired. He, he wanted something to eat. And Jacob, a businessman, <laughs> Jacob said, give me your birthright before I give you the, the lentil. Exactly, he, 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 Esau accepted that, and that got him into trouble. God saw what Esau did, and Esau lost his heritage. He could not be a heir. Yeah. He could not. That's right. So you also find that uh, in, a, in a Genesis chapter 36, verse 12, if you, if you need to write that down, write it down. This is the son of a, a Esau, a Esau called Eliphaz. Eliphaz, he is married, he had a, his children with his wife. But one of, his, one of the women he was living with, he was not married to her. That's right. She was a concubine. Yeah. Yeah. The son of a concubine is who? Amalek. Amalek could not inherit. Mm -hmm. 
Amalek was driven into the desert. Yes. He became a war, a war like tribe. Yes. They were going all over the place trying to rob anybody. They, they, could, they, they would try to rob Israel. You know. they, 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 that's the Amalekites. Yeah. Why? Because they were son, he came from a son of a concubine. She, yes. she, he did not have any inheritance. Mm -hmm. He did not have any inheritance. So um, Amalekites were scattered all over the place. Even in Babylon, when Israel went to the, uh, to become uh, 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 what, enslaved in uh, Babylon, Haman was there, Agagai, Agagai. He, he, he was a, a Mal Amalekite. They were everywhere. But you see, they were pro produce of what? Lack of marriage. That's why you hear our pastors who say, you see, if you if you want, 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 want to come together with a man with a, boy, a my woman, you better better get married. I remember in my in my, my family, um, many of my uncles died, and all my uh, uh, cousins grew up with us. When we would we would hear, my mother would hear that oh so and so has got a girlfriend, the, 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 the mother would call or a boyfriend, the mother would call that child and say sit here. We don't do that here. The first thing you have to do, you have to get properly married. And you will make sure that when you get married, there is no breaking up. So you better get married. And because I didn't know that they knew that if these people just stay together, their product, its product, its children that they produce will, will not have an inheritance to, uh, in, in, in presence of God. That's true. They, they, they don't. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. There is another example of Jephthah. Jephthah was a... He was a son of a halot. His brothers chased him mm -hmm. from home. You can't live with us. I tell you when Jephthah went uh, to a different place, mm -hmm. down there he, he got the riffraff people and he, became, he got an army. His brothers went and said, please come and fight, help us to fight the Ammonites. But you see, Jephthah had been chased. Why? Because he's son of a halot. Yeah. So you'll find that this is, this is in the Old Testament. To be have inheritance, you have to be a son. You have to be a son. So sometimes you say, how about how about uh, the, 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 uh, the 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 female people? We are not talking about uh, we are not talking about uh, inheritance here. One time, one time I came, but before I let, let uh, before that, let me explain to you uh, in Numbers chapter twenty-seven, verse seven. To nine tells us about the daughters of Zelophehad. Their father died in the desert, and they went to Moses and they told Moses, Moses, we need our the inheritance of our father when we reach down there. Yeah. Moses said, You people are girls. He said, That it doesn't matter, we need our inheritance. Yeah. They bothered Moses, Moses is went to the tabernacle, even found God there, and God told Moses, Moses, go and give them what? Yeah. You have to give them their inheritance when they reach down there. Yeah. <laughs> Because the inheritance was being given by family. Uh -huh. So the statute, the statute was made that women inherit. Uh -huh. It is not, not go by gender. It goes by sonship. Are you a son or an illegitimate son? Amen. Praise God. Amen. So you will find also in the in the, the very close one to us is, 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 is in, the, in the family of David. In the family of David, he, in the lineage of Solomon coming down, you, he, he, the Bible says he, Joseph, the father of Jesus, Joseph was the son of who? Of Jacob. But when you come through the David to Nathan and you come down, Luke writes and says that uh, uh, Joseph was the son of Heli. That sometimes confuses us. What happened that it is still the problem of Zelophehad? Yeah. Why? Because Mary, the mother of Jesus, had only a sister. There were only two girls. They never had a brother. Mm -hmm. So whoever married them, whoever married Mary, would be adopted as son, as son of Heli. Mm -hmm. That's why J Joseph is a son of Jacob. At the same time, he's a son of Heli. So when he's going to, into the gate, where women would not go, would go to the gate to do business for Mary, they will say, oh, who are you? I'm son of Heli. Okay. So he would do business for Mary. Yeah. And then uh, if he was doing business for himself, he say, who are you? I'm son of Jacob. Amen. 
and he would do business. You see, even in the family of Jesus Christ, women were had, having inheritance. One time I came down there, I was, uh, I was doing something and I came because when, when I, I used to have a teaching here and I saw Pastor Faye down there with a lot of papers. I said, ha, ah, Mr. Walsh has sent you a lot of forms to fill. She said, no, 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 this is my inheritance. I'm, feeling, I'm, I'm feeling the fall for, for inheritance. She is a son. She filled that form for her inheritance. She, does she have brothers? Yes, but because she is the, the son. In my father's family, the, the, the girls are the eldest. And my elder sister is the heir. Oh, that's right. Amen. According to the Bible, she, this heir is a son. That's right. Hallelujah. So that really misses our theology. <laughs> it misses our theology. When we go and follow the rules in, uh, in the world, we will find that it will not work. Mm -hmm. It will not work. Mm -hmm. It will not work. But in the Bible, that is how it is. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So for us, God has had a, a great plan because in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 20 to 21, it, the, the Bible word of God says that we are hidden for a while. We are hidden for a while. Why? It, we, are, we are hidden not for no. Why? Because God has made us hairs, joint hairs with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. His desire was to have a family, but the enemy hates family. Yes. He hates family yes. and he fights family. He, he, he messes family. Mm -hmm. He messes family completely. That's what the enemy. Yeah. He, 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 that is one of his goals. <laughs> That's one of his goals. He wants to destroy all the families. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He brings confusion. Mm -hmm. Because at one time he will say, no, no, no. no. The, he, he, for example, if you have, have your son, his name John, he goes to elementary school, he goes to high school. Tomorrow when he goes to college, when he comes back, he says, Daddy and Mommy, I'm Mary. I'm not John. My name is Mary. You see, that's, that's what Satan did. He was a, he was a bearer of light. Mm -hmm. Lucifer. Mm -hmm. A cherub. Yeah. But one day he decided to change himself, say that, oh, oh, oh no, no, I'm, a, I'm Satan, I'm adversary, I'm, I'm, he became evil, mm -hmm. he changed into something. So sometimes we find people change, people change these days. Yeah. They say, no, I'm not such and such, I'm uh, completely different. But that is really... It, it is, it is following the, the word. But God prepared us for inheritance, together to have inheritance with Jesus Christ. Okay. But one of the things that we, we were supposed to do, God wanted to work with our hearts. So that's why in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 25 to 28, God says that I will give us a, a new heart, a new heart of flesh, yes. that he could work with it. Mm -hmm. And in Romans chapter 8, 14 to 17, that's what God tells us that we have to receive redemption and we have to receive sonship and we, we, we adopted, we become heirs, then we become joint heirs with Christ. Christ. Why? Because he, he will make our hearts soft. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Before we, Jesus died for us on the cross, and we, before we receive the heart with which God can work, before we get a salvation, we were a lost race. We were dead in trespasses, in, in the trespasses and in sin. Amen. We could not help ourselves. We could not save ourselves until God stooped down and sent His only begotten Son, Amen. Christ, to die for us. So, Hallelujah. whenever we talk here about hairship, the, being a hair involves what? implies inheritance. Mm -hmm. We are partakers of the inheritance. Hallelujah. Partaker of inheritance. Left for us by what? By a testator. Now, this is why I wanted to, I, 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 I go back to what I read at the beginning that these things that we talk about may be foolishness to those people who do not, who, who, who don't have a spirit of God in them. When a person dies, then a person leaves a, <clears throat> a testament, then he hears, take that. But here, the Bible is telling us one thing completely different, that Jesus died 
and he became a test tester by grace. Mm -hmm. And he says his inheritance comes to us as sons of God. His, his, his inheritance comes to us as son of God. So we receive that inheritance from God the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have to accept that. Second, maybe it is, as I already said it, it is not by works. You are not going to work for inheritance. <laughs> it is given by grace. Mm -hmm. Sight that the Father can give this son yeah. five bucks. While this son has got a thousand bucks. The other one, 80,000 bucks. It is the Father's decision, his own will. He will give what he wants. Amen. <laughs> You can give what else you want. Somebody gets a house, somebody doesn't get anything. Somebody gets maybe the tires, somebody, <laughs> whatever he's giving. The Father has got that freedom. Yes. He has got that freedom. Amen. So you cannot scream. That's why in, in a normal life, you said that the Father is dead already. And he has written that already. It is written in the paper. So you are not going to hit him. He's, he's, he's not there. He's buried. <laughs> he's, he's not there. But we find that the, in, the, in the parable of uh, the prodigal son, we find that the, the, the things are completely a, a bit different. The younger son says, "I want, I want, I, 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 uh, Father, can you give me my inheritance? I want, I want to, I, I want, I want to, go, I need it now." And the father gives him his inheritance. But the father knows that you cannot get inheritance before I die. Mm -hmm. So the father knows that this kid has never left home. He is not street smart. He's going to get into trouble. So when he leaves home, the father from that day is waiting already, knowing that. Any time now, he'll be here. <laughs> He's going to be back here. He's going to be back here. But he has his brain, very good brain. He asked for inheritance. But the father knew. However, his brother, who told you, you, you need to work for inheritance, he said, that I'm here busy working. But you have never given me anything. Why? You didn't ask. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't ask. <laughs> You know, so that is completely a different situation. But in this situation, our situation is when Jesus goes to the cross and he died with us. He died with us. He died with us. He was buried with us. He resurrected with us, and we are seated with him in the in the heaven the, in the heavenly places. Praise. Things changed. We used to serve Satan. We used to be to the, in the family of, of Satan. We are no longer in the family of Satan. Now we are in the family of God. Yeah. Amen. We belong to, we are citizens of heaven. Yes. We are ambassadors on the ground here. Hallelujah. When situation gets difficult on the ground here, we will be called back home. The ambassadors are called back home. Hallelujah. And when situation changes again, the ambassadors will be sent back. Yes. Amen. That is exactly what we, we belong to the house of God. That's where we are going to get inheritance. Right. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That, is, that is our situation. So we are heirs. Mm -hmm. It implies we receive that inheritance. Why? Because the testers died and we are given this inheritance by grace. The, the Bible tells us also that. <coughs> God received a, a, for himself a portion of the earth mm -hmm. as his chosen people. And in Israel, part of Israel and us, we are the chosen people Thank of God. God. We are chosen. The chose us before the foundation of the world. Yes. Why? The lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. Yes. And because God had us there. And the payment was also already been done. The payment, the ransom, the ransom price has been paid. You, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know the, the, the Bible says honest payment. What, what, what does that mean? It means that, for example, if you are going to buy this piano, they, they, they say, okay, you first have to, have to pay so many, $10,000, then uh, 
when you, when you play, you come and check on it, it is okay, then you give the other 5,000. And then uh, when we transport it, bring it to, uh, to the church, then you'll pay the rest of the, of the, of the 2,000. That's why they call it the earnest payment, which means we have received inheritance on earth, but we have to figure out what is, what is that, those inheritance. Because Jesus is not only on the, on the cross, it's, it's that, it's on the cross. Amen. So when we receive that in, the, the inheritance, we have to figure out because the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit, when we celebrated last uh, Sunday, we is the one who is going to give us the light to show us what we have inherited. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. He is the down payment. He is the down payment. The down payment is being given through the Holy Spirit for our inheritance. Amen. Whatever remains we will get in the end because we will be given our inheritance bit by bit. The next step is getting a glorified body. Mm -hmm. That's also part of our inheritance. Mm -hmm. then, then the next step will go to heaven, where everybody is healed. That's the next step of inheritance. Then we go and say, uh, uh, well, be with Christ for seven years. That's a part of our inheritance. Lord. Then when, when we, are coming, we are coming back with the Christ, with the, Christ with, 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 the, with, the, with the stallions and the horses and all the rest for a fight, when, whatever land we capture, that is a part of our inheritance. Lord. You see? Amen. Amen. We, are, we will be given a demonstration to, uh, to administer the place depending on the, des or the desire of Christ. Give whatever part he gives you, you will work down there. That's our inheritance. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, we, they, they, we continue getting inheritance mm -hmm. until, until we go back to what? Yes. To eternity. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> Thank you. So, God has already claimed us as sons mm -hmm. through adoption. Amen. And we obtain the part of a portion of inheritance Amen. together with Christ. <clears throat> together with Christ. Glory. <clears throat> Hallelujah. In, in, my, in my family, my, my elder sister is, is, is the heir. And uh, all of us are joint heirs. Which means all of us, we are joint heirs. We all own whatever our father left for us. But there are specific things which our elder sister handles as a, a single heir. You see? So you, when we are both inherited with Christ, there are there are things that God has prepared for us that we can share with the Christ. Amen. We can share with the Christ. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just read, uh, read in his first, P first Peter chapter 1 verse, <clears throat> verse 3 to 5. The word of God says. <clears throat> verse 3 to 5. The word of God says. Blessed be. Hallelujah. Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to the abundant mercy hath begotten us into the lovely hall of, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. You see, we are being what? Born. We are being begotten uh, through what? The resurrection of Jesus. When Jesus uh, rose, there was, we, are, we got it, the possibility of being born again to an inheritance incorruptible. Incorruptible, which means it, 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 it cannot be destroyed. Yes, amen. And defiled, which cannot be made, made dirty or made dirty by any, anything. Oh, yes. And faded not away. It will be there forever. Mm -hmm. It stands the time. That, those, those are our inheritance. Reserved in heaven for you. We have inheritance even reserved for when we get into heaven, those yeah. inheritance for heaven. When we are on earth right now, we should be enjoying the inheritance of Christ yeah. here on earth. Yeah. Are we there doing that? We have to allow the Holy Spirit, be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that the Holy Spirit can show us exactly what is my inheritance in this, in, in right now when I'm on earth here. What is my inheritance? True. What is my inheritance? Mm -hmm. mm. It's a miracle. Yeah. It is health. Mm -hmm. It is the understanding God. It is when I call God, He answers. Mm -hmm. When anybody else calls God, He will not answer that because I'm a child. When I call the Father, the Father answers, said, Oh, my child, what do you want? And I, I, I will present. There are so many things that the going of Christ to the cross has made available to us. Mm -hmm. 
So he includes all God's promises and grace of salvation. The rest which we will receive when we are when we are in heaven. So the Holy Spirit of sealing and the word of sealing that with which our inheritance has been sealed guarantees that we receive all our inheritance. Hundred percent. Why? Because there's somebody who wants who wants it. There's somebody who wants it. Yeah. This morning, <laughs> this morning the, the pastor was was reading. Uh, he was reading here in the, in the, in the Genesis. <clears throat> In, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, that and the Lord took the man and put him in the garden to dress it and to keep it. <laughs> people are not yet created, there are not even many people. Keep it against who? There was somebody who wanted it. God knew. Yeah. Mr. Satan. Mm -hmm. So he wants our inheritance. Yeah. He wants whatever God has given us. Mm -hmm. So God said to Adam, Adam, you have to dress the garden. From there you get your food and all the rest of it. But keep it. Watch. Keep watch, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. There is somebody who wants it. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. <laughs> oh. Hallelujah. So we, whatever God has given us, we have to keep it. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure the, 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 nobody takes it. Your family. You have to make sure your family, you, uh, you yeah. pray for them and all the rest of it. You are your, 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 your pastors, your church, your, uh, your community. You have to go pray for peace for your, that is your inheritance. Pray for peace. And that if there, as long as there is peace in your community, you see, you live a good life. Praise God. You live a good life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, God. <clears throat> so you see, the Lord Jesus Christ, because he wanted to share with us. Because he liked us when we were before the foundation of the world. He is the light we are the sons of men. He went to the cross and died so that we, he, 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 was, he died, buried, resurrected, and he, became, he rose up again to become the executor of his own estate. Mm -hmm. That's giving us. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we are therefore the, the sons of the Bible tells us that we adopted, adopted because the Holy Spirit uh, points us, uh, points to God the Father, say that, call him Father, Abba, Abba, Father, that is your Father. Mm -hmm. That's where we are, the children of adoption. Amen. We are children of adoption. Amen. We are heirs, joined to heirs with Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you are not a child, you are not yet, uh, you, you, you cannot inherit. A child in, 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 in the belly of a person, in, in the belly of a, a mother, cannot inherit. It's still a child, but when that child is born and that child is out, that child can have inheritance, but with the, with the, with the, in the world, it needs somebody to, to look after that inheritance and see that the child is 21 years old. Mm -hmm. Because they, 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 they use it in a different way, but for us, you just inherit immediately. You know, if you go and read the read, read, read Matthew eleven, you will find out the, the the teacher called Nicodemus. He was confused, but the whole chapter talks about how Jesus was trying to tell him that listen, you have to be born again, born of the Spirit, in order for you to. I, to what? To enter into the kingdom of God. We enter into the kingdom of God because we are heirs. Yes. We are born again. Oh, he kept on telling him that you have to be born again, born of the water, spirit, and the blood. You have to be born again. But you know, sometimes we say that he, he was a dumb, he could not understand. No, this is a PhD guy. This, this is a guy who, who belongs to the centurion. I mean, I mean a St. Henry council. He, he was a very smart guy. But the thing is, because the Jews have eight ways of being born again. If you get married, no, no, you, when you're born, you're born. Then when you get married, you're born again. When you, you proselyte, a proselyte, you are not a Jew and you're baptized, you, you, you are born again. When you, when you get married, you, you are considered born again. So they have got eight difference. That's why I say that all the other things I can do, but I can't go back into my mother's home mm -hmm. to be born again. Can I, do I have to do that? See, that's why the word that was a misunderstanding with the, with the Christ. If you read the Bible properly, you will find that. But any son born in the house of God has got a right to receive inheritance. Right. What are you doing with your inheritance today? You see, the Bible tells us in the Revelation chapter 2, verse 26 to 29, that the redeemed shall share in the government, in the judgment, in the rulership of the nations with the Christ. 
we are integral part of continuing a continuous inheritance. Amen. Why? We are called to govern the earth. We are called to govern the earth. So, <clears throat> it is the plan and the purpose of God that we reign together with our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God, Jesus, Jesus will, the Lord Jesus Christ will have his own throne. And he says he will share the throne with us. He says, those who are overcomers, they will share with me, the throne with, with me, as I did overcome and I shared with my father. With my father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, <clears throat> most of the time, people, especially, I um, mean, they call those who they believe are strong in the, in the word of God, those who are ministers and all that, they say, ah, how can I go through this? How can I go that? They should ask the Holy Spirit to guide you fast. You guide you. Okay. Why so that? Because there are a lot of things that we have inherited. That when we go to heaven, you will find that we have used only maybe 2% or 3% of what we have inherited on earth here. <laughs> the rest are in the story. And when you reach in heaven, then you look down and you say, wait a minute. I, I inherited all this and I had only a 2 or 3%. That's what I, I, I the, 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 your spirit made me borrow the way, the title from a Pastor Fed, which is that you are settled for too little. Mm -hmm. You are settling for too little. We believers, we settle for too little. We should get as many, as much, as many things as possible. Amen. As possible. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to qualify to share with Jesus Christ. But we do not work for inheritance. Amen. It is just given Amen. to us. Yes, thank you. For example, the, the, one of the things that we have inherited, in, in Matthew chapter 28, uh, verse 18 to 20, Jesus said that all the power has been given unto me. Mm. And I give out to you. Go into the world and baptize, or uh, mm. preach the gospel and baptize all the, the people. Those who believe, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the that is an inheritance that gives us God and he gave to us immediately. Mm -hmm. That is the power and the authority. Mm -hmm. In Luke 10, 19, it tells us, I've given you the power. I give you the power and authority so that you, you go into the world and nobody will touch you. You step on the scorpions, you can step on snakes and all anything, but they will never hurt you. That is in, an inheritance. That's an inheritance. Hallelujah. So Jesus delights and he, in sharing whatever he has with us, but we have to recognize what he has for us. That's right. Amen. Paul writes and tells us, you see, that your eyes have not seen anything. Your ears have not heard anything. No, can your brains really comprehend and imagine the things that God has for those Hallelujah. whom he loves. Let us therefore arise to the occasion and not miss what God has. God has got the best for us. God has protected us. God even shows us. Let, let me give you an example. Few weeks before this, the, 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 the quarantine, before COVID-19 reached here, we get a lady who comes here and the Holy Spirit speaks through that lady and tells us that, you see, you people are what? The watchmen of the city. He was telling us that something is coming. I, I thought that, why, why is she talking about watchmen? There, there must be something coming. Yes, God knew about that, but when we stand and we start praying, you see, we, we find that by the time COVID-18, 19 comes, we have a buffer zone. We say, stop there, stop there, stop there. Hallelujah, man. So sometimes God will, as God, that thing, the inheritance, that can, he can use the Holy Spirit to explain things to us before it happens. Praise God. Usually the, 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 the word is that, okay, he, he, God will never what? He, he tells, he, he will not uh, bring anything before telling his what? His prophets. Mm. So God, he has been, we, we have been lucky because he has been speaking to our pastors, speaking to our ministers, telling the prophets, Things before they happen. And when they happen, we say, aha, we, 
We were taught about that already. Amen. We were taught about that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let, let me close with this in, in the book of Mark here. The book of Mark. Mark chapter, chapter 10. <clears throat> Mark chapter 10, verse, uh, verse 28 to... Verse 28 to 30. The word of God says, Then Peter began to say unto him, Lord, lo, we have left all and have followed thee. Yes, Peter, Peter is saying that God. Yeah, I mean, Lord, Lord Christ, we have left everything and we have followed you. We have left everything and followed you. And verse 29 said, And Jesus, Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man who has left a house, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, and, and the Gospels. But he shall receive a hundred now, this time, that's a hundredfold, this now, in this time, houses, brethren, sisters, mother, children, land, with persecution, and in the in the in the what in the world that cometh eternal life. <clears throat> Peter was saying about us, about us, God, we, we, we left everything. We left everything. But Jesus knew when before he even answered that you see, salvation is individual. As long as you are uh, at the age of accountability, you can receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. It is individual. So if I get saved today, my wife may not be saved. My brothers, my sisters, my uncles, all my family and my children, they, they, they may not be saved. So I have left them. That's what he says. I have left them because I'm prepared. Now, God gives me this ability of praying them in. So I start praying them one by one. I pray my wife in. I pray my father. I pray my mother. I pray my sisters one by one. They come one, one by one. But we have left them and left them behind. So here is Jesus saying, if you have left these people for, for me and for the sake of the gospel, in this life, you have a hundredfold. Amen. Have you received a hundredfold of your inheritance? No, maybe it's only 2%, 3%. Well, let's open up our eyes. We, listen, what, because the, there was a blanket which came and fell all, all over everybody and there was darkness. Side that, the Passover passed, but we walked, we, we followed the word of God. God told us, you have to pray on your feet, standing on your feet, you don't sit down. We did that. Mm -hmm. And we celebrated the Passover. And the, the, the Pentecost has come, we have celebrated Pentecost. Amen. But the world is scared. Uh -huh. The world is scared. You see, when Jesus died, the day Jesus resurrected, in the afternoon, there were two people, Cleopas and one guy, they were going to Emmaus. And they were talking, they were downtrodden. Uh -huh. Who are downtrodden? Are you downtrodden today? Uh -huh. You better square your shoulder and rise up. Because the light of God is shining upon you. Praise God. They, they were downtrodden like this, and Jesus came and Jesus, they walked with Jesus. They didn't even notice Jesus until they went and because they were brought up properly, they decided, okay, no, 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 don't go. Come with us. And they too they went with Jesus and allowed Jesus to stand and sit at the head of the table. You don't give a stranger to sit at the head of the table when you're eating. The stranger sat on the head of the table. And when the stranger broke the bread, their eyes opened and Jesus disappeared. Do you know what happened? They dropped the food, ran back to Jerusalem. When they arrived down there, they said, Oh, Peter has seen the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you the story now. They started telling the story how they could not recognize Jesus. But Jesus was lifting them up. Said that these things were supposed to happen. Yeah. Because they're telling Jesus, you went to Jerusalem and you never seen the things that were happening. Jesus said, these things were supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. So they were downtrodden. We are down. Most people are downtrodden. That's why you hear the pastor was saying, are you, down, are you downtrodden? Rise up. These, these, things, these things are not so bad and like that. The pastor Paul was saying, things are not so bad. You, trying to encourage. So I want to encourage you today. If you are downtrodden, rise up. You, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit show you your inheritance, what belongs to you. Enjoy your life. 
go forward don't just be scared like the fear is not for us the fear is not for us don't settle for so little don't don't stand up on your feet and be strong and ask the holy spirit to show you what belongs to you Amen. inheritance is for us for now and in the inheritance is for us as we are raptured in the inheritance is for us when we're in heaven in the inheritance is for us when we come back with jesus Amen. for a thousand years we have been ruling the inheritance will be with us when jesus after we have been put at his feet gives us back into god unto god Amen. the father and to eternity we still be having our inheritance Amen. you are heirs according to the word according to the word of god from Amen. now on i want you to Start to, to start, stand in, 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 your, in your place and know that I'm, I'm a child of God. I'm a heir. I belong to the house of God. An ambassador. I'm an ambassador from heaven. I'm a citizen from heaven. I'm not from here. So I cancel anything. When a banker say, tells you you can't get money, say that you are just, you do not know what, you, what you're talking about. Because I'm going to get my financing, financing in one way or the other. When somebody tells you, you can't get this job. You say, I'm going to get that job. When you are going for a meeting, you already say that I can't, I, I bind anything that they are going to say in this meeting. It's not going to be bad as it is. You see the economy from the meeting clear. Why? You are in the rulership. You are here of God. You have this inheritance. Exercise the inheritance. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise and give glory to God. Praise Whenever God. you do it, you give, have to give glory to God. Yeah. Things that come from God go in secular forms. And when they go back to God, they give God all the glory and the praises. Glory. That's what we are supposed to do. God bless you all. Thank you for your patience. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Pastor, Pastor Paul, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.